Hi, this is Matt Murphy from Ambient Weather, and we're going to be going over how to reset the outdoor array for your WS2902C and WS2000 weather station. Now that we have unmounted your weather station and brought it inside to perform the procedure of resetting it to factory, we are going to go ahead and we're going to flip the array over, and we're going to see here this is the battery door. We're going to go ahead and take two fingers here, pull the battery door open, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the batteries. Okay, then we can go ahead and reinstall the battery door. And what we're gonna see here is, is there's, a, 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 there's a red LED that should be blinking right here. And then we're also gonna go through after we remove the batteries and we're gonna cover the solar panel. We're gonna leave this solar panel covered for up to three hours or once the red LED on the bottom of the array has stopped blinking. So once this has occurred, this shows that the supercapacitor inside of the array is completely discharged. Now, what we'll then go ahead and proceed to do, once we have uncovered the solar panel, we're gonna go ahead and remove the battery door again. And now we're gonna go ahead and re, and we're gonna go ahead and insert our batteries. First thing we're gonna see is we're gonna see that red LED that pops up again right here. But in the process of this, we're gonna take a pin and we're going to hold the reset button right here. And what'll happen is, is as the device powers back up, that's going to allow it to completely factory reset to factory settings. And this should restore all readings that may be missing from your console at that point in time. Hopefully this has allowed you to reset the array on your WS2902C and WS2000 weather station. If you have any further questions, please visit our support page at ambientweather.com.